If, if, if I did editing, I would just do a transition and like whoosh or doo Kind of Batman y. 1960s Batman y. But I'm not. And I'm kind of getting really tired and worn out. And so, yeah. Even if I said I was going to do it, I'd forget. Wait, wasn't I? Didn't I have to do something else for the, the movie night thing? I have to go back to Lexi. Yes. Uh, so we go back to Lexi, she'll probably say something else for the movie night. Or maybe someone else will ask about something for the movie night. And then they'll be like, go back to the Nexus and do this thing. Like, why didn't you say it before? I think a lot of people have already done things for the movie night anyway. I assume the movie night is meant to be like the, the Citadel DLC for Mass Effect 3, which was brilliant. Um, but... Koro wanted to check in with you. Okay. Okay. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. I don't care. More tests? You said. Ugh. I know what I said, but your protein levels are on the low side. We want to eat you. Doc, I'm missing three lungs. Who gives a shit about protein levels? I do. Just let her worry about you, old man. One bottle of acantha, barely opened. It's medicinal, you understand. Cuts down hangovers, which will save PB and Drax some grief. Of course. Thank you, Ryder. Would you ask Liam when we're doing this? I've got a couple of things to finish up. Well, do. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Talk to Liam. I say, let's enjoy a few movies. And everyone else says, no, let's have an extravaganza with all the trimmings. You're complaining? No. Yes. Well, maybe, because now I need to do it all justice. You got me a decent library, but I heard someone has a director's cut of Last of the Legion. The band version. Remastered. No crappy extras added for the Hannah. And you want me to look for it? It'd be the gold-dusted cherry on your Sunday. In the meantime, I'll get things set. We're more than ready for a night in. You send me back to the Nexus. Kadara. Okay, to Kadara, there it is then. Oh, no, Koro wanted to ask me. Let's check emails because it might be like, oh, go. So you can uh, fix it? It's just editing a config file. You could probably fix it. I could probably fix it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Emails, anything interesting? Or is it just Koro saying hi? No. Koro apparently wants to say hi. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go and check with Cora, and then we'll head back, and then I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Kadara. We're gonna do this movie night. I mean, I don't know how long we've got left, mission-wise, but it does I'm feel... in the bio-lab if you need me. You're in the bio-lab? Why are you there? That's where you... That's where you started and introduced yourself. And that would make sense for you to always be there. So why are you there now? Because you've never been there before. Straight shot at Meridian. You know the Archon won't make this easy. But neither will we. Let's see what he's got. And punch right through. That's a wonderful strategy. Well thought out. Keep it flexible, then hit where it hurts. Works for me. That, that's we have nice everything strategy. we need. I think we always did. Once we get to Meridian, we'll need to figure out what's next. Whatever's there has to be big. I hope I'm ready enough. None of us are. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Doesn't this... Isn't the way the game is put together just fill you with confidence? I think that was grammatically incorrect, that sentence. You're ready. I don't know what we'll find, but I trust you to meet it with everything you've got. Right. Okay. I can't forget that someone built the Scourge weapon and chose to use it. Those forces are at work here. But Meridian first. Everything else will fall as it may. We'll show them how it's done, Pathfinder. Always do. I get the feeling, Cora, that you are this game's Liara. And I don't mean that 
in a disparaging way, but it just feels in some way like Liara, like Liara in the trilogy was, seemed to be either the writer's favourite character or the character they thought everyone would romance. And I think Cora's that character for this. Um... What was I doing? Kadara. So, yeah. I kind of get that feeling. There is. Wait, where are we going next? Oh, yeah. I'm really in the way home. Um, so, yeah. I think that's the problem with some of these characters you can get into, is... Um, when you have romance options, it, certain characters become the obvious picks for the... Um, developers and so you get to a point where even if other people might be interest might, other people you might have other romances you've got this is the one romance that they put a lot of effort in and it feels a little bit like core is that romance now orbiting Kadara. yep like i remember getting a bit bothered by some parts of mass effect the mass effect trilogy where it's like oh liara 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 like they're trying to get you to romance liara and I think there seems to be a sense of that with Cora, although I don't know. Maybe they'd have this. Maybe she'd be having the same kind of amount, same amount of dialogue, if I were playing a uh, female rider. Oh no, not there. Um. Um. I don't know. Right, find the thing, find the thing, and then do the movie night, and I will nap during the film. Really up security. Got something I think you'll love. Okay. Not interested. Mm, not sniper rifle. Not interested. Um. Ooh, okay, we'll buy that. Haven't I already got the popcorns? I think I've already got the popcorns. Let's get them both anyway. A special edition OSD of the Last of the Legion. Critically panned upon its release, but popular on Turian military bases. <gasps> Definitely need to get that. I thought Vetra will be happy with that. We don't need outsiders, we can protect ourselves. Yes. Yes. Uh, so we'll go back to Liam, which I assume will mean we'll do the the, the thing, movie night. Um, uh, Tempest. Yes, yeah, so we'll hand that in. We'll, we'll have the movie night, see what that does, see what that happens, and then we'll head towards Meridian. As I said, it feels very much like we've got the end, but, like, Kerry's got a, um, an on-hold thing, which tells me that this is not going to be the last mission, which seems really odd. Vetro was looking for you. Uh, okay, let's, uh... You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Okay, um... Gonna have to wait, Liam. I think I could handle it. <laughs> Your brain's rattled enough. Come on. One headbutt. We'll keep Lexi on standby. I'm not okay. condoning any of this. Okay. You're handling this much better than I would. Same here. I'd get nosebleeds just thinking about it.
Hey, Ryder. What are we going to do if Meridian isn't what we expect? What do you mean? What if it isn't where it's supposed to be? Or it doesn't work the way we think it does? Uh, it's a pretty bad look. Uh, no reason to worry yet. We just muddle through. That's the answer. That, you know, nothing we've dealt with has been the way, it's, the way it's supposed to be since the beginning. That's the whole thing of this game. That's why we're looking for Meridian. Is because none of the worlds we were looking for were the way they were supposed to be. But we've muddled through. We've pushed on and we've kept going. Why is that not an answer? I mean, I could understand not wanting to reference past events in the continuity from the trilogy. But earlier in this game, why are you not referring back to continuity from earlier in this game? Uh. Come on, that'd be the fourth time now. Our luck can't be that bad. It's just we never really know what we're going to get with this remnant stuff. I've been going back and forth, glee one second, worry the next. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Learn that the hard way. Oh, am I not, am I not, am I not too good to be true, Vetra? I'm feeling hurt. Failure is how we learn. So it's repetition. We still have to try. We still have to hope. You always know the right thing to say. No matter what happens, at least we won't be alone. Well, I will be. I mean, the characters won't be, but I will be. <laughs> You've... Can I ask you about these, these blastos? Have they I always asked seem to be so close, but never close enough. You mean the Remnant City? Meridian? What do you mean us? I was so sure we'd reached the end. Right. I had a bottle of Drossix Blue ready to go. Were you going to share it? I hope you were planning to share that. So I can wake up to the headlines? Pathfinder, Pathfinds Victory, laid low by Turian Brew. Not a party unless I'm passed out at the end. But From your stomach literally exploding? Why don't I find something better suited to humans? Hopefully we'll have something to celebrate soon. I'll let you go. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. One thing I just, my brain just went with that, and it would change. It would probably have to. You probably have to have a lot of fiddling with dialogue. But I would really like to see, similar to how in Dragon Age Origins and Inquisition, you can choose your race. Why not have that in Mass Effect? There are so many races, like especially like this one. This would be a great fit because you're all just heading off. Admittedly, it'd be difficult. Why are you on the human? arc, but you could just start on the Nexus. Um, Because, I mean, how many races have you got? You've got the Asari, you've got the Turians, you've got the Salarians and the Humans, and the Krogan. Although they've got their own little story and maybe you wouldn't be able to do that. So what was that? Four or five different races? And that's not even thinking about Quarians, but I think they'd probably be too difficult to do as a char player character, maybe. Unless you wrote a game designed around that. Last of the Legion. This is what you wanted, right? Wait, you actually found it. That version's practically a myth. I'll tell everyone to grab food. Jarl and Gil said they can rig something up in your quarters. If you need a minute what, to clean quarters? up, no problem. Just hit the console when you're good to go. I never agreed to that. I, I never agreed to that. Well, let's do it. I mean, I don't know if we're ending it. We're going to be ending things soon. But I'd rather do it now than risk doing it too late and end up not doing it at all. Ah, oh dear, call the creek together. What could possibly go wrong? They need you, Jorax. I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. You left me. But I know my duty. All right, folks, we can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. No such thing. There really is. Or we could fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, oh, montage. Don't cut bits off. I'd go yeah. for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene, going once, 
Going twice. Where's the interrupt? Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo! 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 Boo, Lancelin. But it's a vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. <laughs> Guess they wanted their money's worth. They actually blew up a derelict for that shot. Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave him stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. <laughs> I just <laughs> choose the... <laughs> um, yeah, you're not watching a film if you're skipping bits. Like, you can't... That that's not how watching a film works. Ugh. It's exceptionally rude, Lancelin. Especially when a variety of people... Oh, PB stood up. Um, have said, oh, no, we want to watch it. I just seduced the enemy. I don't think so. I've got a cooler plan. Fry their sensors. Spacewalk on the hull. Cut life support. Repel in and take them hostage. Done it. Less exciting than it sounds. <laughs> Seriously? Got the scars to prove it. I assumed you'd got that falling off a bar stool. <laughs> Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Baron's jaw? Or a euphemistically delicious? Wait, lesson. Oh no. Rattles. Rattles. No! Ugh, he was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. Quite no you. acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. If I wanted to. Ha, huh, now you have to do it. Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why don't leave me? You'll be avenged, I swear. It isn't fair. He was so young and... <laughs> Solarian. He had so much to give. Uh, uh, Ryder. I can't feel my... I can't feel my gallbladder. D do you even have a gallbladder? Oh, no. It's worse <laughs> than I thought. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. Damn you! Damn you all! Can you applaud more convincingly, please? Let's stick with the overacting Turian. Those are my romance plans as well. <laughs> I swear to love you a thousand times, a thousand stars. Oh, Jorax, so many years lost. We were so foolish. Our hearts are one. No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again. Woo, a thing occurred. 